legacy code. We all know the horror behind these words, and we all want to get rid of this burden as soon as possible. However, sometimes things don't go as planned. In our presentation today, we would like to share with you five lessons that we learned while rewriting the NGGIRS legacy website. Maybe it will help you avoid our mistakes. But before we will go there, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Dominika, and I'm a software engineer from Krakow in Poland. I'm Robert, and I'm a developer from Berlin in Germany. OK, now you know us. Time to get to know our project. NGGIRT is an initiative to help women from all around the world to learn programming in Angular. But the website was written first in Jekyll. Quite surprising, don't you think? March last year, we decided to fix that. Here our story begins. And reality doesn't look like plans. Fortunately, we had a great team of voluntary developers from all around the world, from Europe to America to Africa. In our first lesson, which took us the longest to debug, we tried to forward old workshop pages simply to the new pass. But the 404 error occurred was now. We tried to uh, a lot uh, of different approaches, debugging in the router config or inside the Scully library, even trying to bypass with HTXS. The solution was one line of code defining our custom render plugin right. Thanks to Maxime for inspiration. Looking at the Scully config, our custom renderer for flex boxes was specified for workshop routes, but defining it as a default post renderer had solved our issue. Time for a second lesson. Deadlines can be your friend. Of course, only if you can use them smartly. When we started the project, we completely forgot about planning and thus we did not set any deadlines. When an initial enthusiasm subsides, it turned out to be a problem. Thanks to that, I learned a very important thing. Tasks are like water or cats. They fill all available space. It's important to prepare your internal deadlines and keep them. Thanks to that, you will be sure that work connected with the project is moving forward. In our third lesson, we noticed that everything has a limit. You cannot use separate domains for GitHub organizations on GitHub static pages. And you cannot use a GitHub organization for free on Versal, for example. We also reached with our legacy images the maximum size of Azure static web apps. In that case, we recommend three things. First, don't move old content and use a CDN. Second, optimize your images to WebP format, for example, with the Squish app. It saves till 95% of your image size. Third, if you use Lighthouse, which is the best friend of Angular and Scully, you can reach high performance scores, like from today here seen. Time for the fourth lesson. Track your work in one place and keep one communication channel. When there are only two people in the project, communication is really simple. Just a few messages on Facebook, maybe some video conference, and everyone knows what is going. However, it is worse when, as the team grows, we still stick to the simple convention and do not agree on the one method of communication. After some time, we realize that some of us follow our task in Trello, others in Facebook chat, others in GitHub issues, and no one really knows what is done and what is to do. Some changes were waiting to merge definitely too long. It's why it's so important to define one channel of communication and one place to track our work. We are approaching the end of time, so let's go to the last fifth lesson, the most important in my opinion. Even if we are talking about some problems, it was a great adventure and learning for us. Fighting with problems and learning new stuff helped us grow as developers and let us just have fun from trying different ways. So we strongly encourage you to experiment, to try new things and do something new. Now I guess you want to see the result. Even if we still need to fix some last issues, even by ng-conf, you can find a preview here. Do you see how fast it already loads? So this was our talk and uh, thank you for having us. Thank you.